The reason why I went with this radio is because the headset, the deck unit of the radio can be detached and relocated so it's not one solid block. So what I did is I mounted the radio, uh, the case of the radio to the bottom of, uh, of the box and then I wired the headset up to this section, the lid of the box, so uh, everything is visible. Um, turn it on. And there we go. So this is uh, GMRS, short range. Um, so this can communicate with the truck and any uh, radios that are on my mate's plate carriers. Um, it also has ham radio, which is good. And it's you just go through the settings. I mount the, uh, the speaker right here to the face or the, the undercover of the case. And it also powers a dome light so you can see what's going on if you're working under uh, in adverse conditions or during the night. Um, but that's kind of why I went with this uh, setup because you can detach these two devices and mount them in different locations. We have our resistance meter right here for the antenna. And the antenna stays mounted inside of my war machine, inside of the truck, in this little tube. I have two antennas. This is the NR7700H. Uh, this antenna is specifically designed for this radio. Um, it mounts to these little 90 degree elbows. Get it nice and snug. And then at that point, it mounts to the side of the case. There it is. We also have another antenna. It's called the J or the DBJ-2. That is an antenna that you propel by a slingshot and you launch it up into a tree and that gets you a, a lot better ranges. Um, and again, that is the DBJ-2 antenna. It's also specifically designed for this unit. Those are the radios. That's the attachment for this. Now we're going to jump into solar, which is kind of what makes this entire case come together.